Hi guys, welcome to the video this week. This video is pretty exciting because I got to do a collab with Addy Draws. This is my first ever collab that I've ever done on my channel. So I was a little bit nervous starting off, but I think this turned out really fun and I definitely want to do one like this in the future. We decided that we wanted to do like a three marker challenge, but basically we would pick three colors for each other, including like shades, and we would have to design a character based off of those colors. My three colors were like this golden yellow, this sort of hunter green, and then powder pink for my Ohuhu set. So I began by just sketching out a design for the character that I wanted to create, but I wasn't very happy with this sketch. I was pretty rusty because I think it was like the first time I'd sketched that day. So this was just sort of an idea of what I wanted to use all the colors for in my character, but I decided to come back and do the sketches later. For the outfit design, I decided on pink striped pants and then I chose like a green um, tank top and then I used the yellow for the sort of corduroy jacket that she was going to wear. I was debating whether or not to make the jacket um, like oversized and stuff but at this moment I was basically just laying down the colors and figuring out how I was going to lay everything out. I was also trying to figure out um, a hairstyle that would go with her character design. Real quick I just want to talk about the collab that I'm doing today. I really hope that you guys will go check out Addie Draw's channel, which I listed in the description because she'll be putting out her video around the same time that I do and she has such a cute channel. I love her style and the colors that she uses and also she's grown so much. Good job, girl. <laughs> but I just really want you guys to check her out and just support her channel. Thank you so much, Addie, for allowing me to do this with you. I thought it was really, really fun. As you can see, I started on the main sketch that I was going to be doing for my character. I have a lot of trouble sketching on camera. Um, just because, one, I feel very conscious of what I'm drawing. I don't know why. Um, and then also because when I sketch, I put my head very, very close to what I'm drawing. And I can't really do that when I'm filming. So it's easier for me to just get all the proportions and everything right when I sketch off camera. I changed up some of um, her design, including giving her a like a messy bun. Originally, I was gonna give her a cute pixie cut, and then I thought that the messy bun would work well. And I kind of made, this pose was very, very hard to make, which is one reason why I didn't record it on camera. It was very, very difficult. And I had to use like a reference of someone sitting in this pose. Um, it was very, very hard. I didn't want the legs to look awkward. So I was trying to position them in like a natural way um, and then the feet were pretty difficult to make. I'm not very good at drawing feet and I usually don't draw them or I draw my characters wearing like boots and stuff or big shoes that kind of like cover up the form of the feet. I also changed her jacket into like a cardigan just because I don't know I thought it would the, the collar on the jacket that I originally had just didn't look very nice when I sketched it out and I thought a cardigan might just look a little better. My favorite part about her is probably the star earrings. They're so cute. I would definitely wear them. I actually usually don't wear dangling earrings. I'm not really a, like a fan of them. I just don't like things hitting against my neck because it, it just makes me very self-conscious. Like, is there a bug on my neck? You know, I just don't want to feel like that when I'm walking outside. I just like stud earrings much more because they're more comfortable. Um, but I think I would wear these. Like, fun dangly earrings, I would wear. I think this process of just coloring um, the character in was really, really easy. My markers work really well on this paper. I don't really know what to call this paper. It's like a cardstock that I got in, I think it was like a painting kit that I got a couple months ago. And you're supposed to use it for painting, but yeah, that didn't happen. So I decided to use it for my markers and the markers just blend really smoothly on it. And I'm wondering if I should just get like cardstock paper to use as marker paper because if you buy like paper labeled as marker paper, it's usually kind of expensive. Um, and I really like this. It kind of, it does bleed through a little bit on the back but not like onto your surface, meaning you can see the colors on the back, which is fine, I don't care about that. But the, my markers just work really, really smoothly on this paper.
When the coloring was done, it was time for the line art. I was pretty excited about this part because I feel like um, the line art is like an anticipated thing that I wait for when I'm drawing to just help bring the piece more to life. So something happened with her eyes. I don't really know. Don't ask me because, yeah, I don't know what happened. But um, I basically ended up coloring them green, which I don't think I show on camera because it looked really bad. And she looked cross-eyed. And I was like, no, because I worked so hard and I tried to cover it up with my gel pen. It wasn't working. So I colored her eyes brown and I think it looks much better. I mean, if you look at the picture straight on, she still looks a little cross-eyed or like her eyes are just doing something. I don't know what it is, but um, I think it looks better like this, so it's fine anyway. Of course, I had to add tons of freckles because I think all my characters look better with freckles. That's just something I like to do. Then for some extra blush, I just used um, one of my Coolers pencils. And then for some cute like eyeshadow, I just added a yellow pencil. I didn't really use my white gel pen, but I decided to just put a little bit on the eyes and the lips to just make her look a little more alive. Okay, by the way, I know I spelled draws wrong. Just ignore it, please. I don't know what happened. Anyway, I think this turned out really cute. I really wanted to name her, so I named her Saloma. I just really like the colors, how the colors work together. Addie, thank you for being nice to me and giving me really, really pretty colors. <laughs> that was really nice of you, and I really like working with them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was very different for me, but it was also so fun. I want to do more collabs like this in the future. Please go check out Addie's video. Addie, thank you so much for doing this collab with me, and I hope you guys have an awesome week. Bye!